everybody, it's Veronica from Two Easels and today I'm coming to you with a little video about when to lift your brush pen off your paper and readjust your hand so that your letters look awesome. When I started hand lettering a few years ago, I thought you were never supposed to lift your pen off the paper, just like in cursive writing. But you know what? Hand lettering is not cursive or calligraphy. Even though brush lettering tends to be kind of mixed in between the two, they are not the same. You can lift your hand off the piece of paper and readjust it as many times as you like because guess what? It's art. You're creating art. You're creating pretty letters. You're not signing your name on a document or writing a letter to your grandma. You are creating a piece of art. So here I'm going to show you a little demonstration and a little tutorial on how I do my lettering and when I usually lift my hand off the paper. All right, so let's start out with some don'ts first. So you don't want to stop right there. You don't want to stop on a downstroke in the middle of the stroke because now if you try to continue down, you're going to have to really try and match up that same thickness and it's always going to look a little wobbly right there. So I would say that's a big fat no-no to stop in the middle of the stroke. The next one is on the upstroke. So you don't want to stop there either because... Again, you're going to have a hard time matching up and smoothing out that curve. Now, it's doable if, you know, something happens and you have to lift your hand off the off the paper or, you know, whatever, whatever the situation is. It's doable to fix it, but it's just not ideal. So, I would not do it right there. And another one is on an O, so I would not lift it like right here where I have to keep going like that um, or right here <laughs> like I just did so you know if your hand somehow comes off the paper it is again possible to fix it up but these are not ideal spots right here you know right here these would not be good spots to do it now here we're gonna do the do's so do try to look for these three areas to lift your brush. So the first one is on a change in direction. So on a letter H, we have the downstroke and then you can lift it safely up and then readjust your arm, readjust your hand, do whatever you need to do and then go back up and then down. All right, so right there is a good area to stop. Um, if you're joining two letters together or even one, but let's say we're doing two letters together, um, letter I and the letter L. So letter I, I would stop right there because that downstroke is gonna cover that stopped area right here. So you have a little crisscross going on right there. So that's a good area. The next one is when two letters kind of touch each other. So let's say letter E, you stop right here and then you pick back up with the letter A and then on an A you would stop right there because it's basically an O and then you would pick up and do the downstroke because it's changing direction. This is a good area because the letters are just touching and they're gonna hide that little area where you lift it off. This one is where they're crossing, so it's gonna hide it. And this one is changing directions, so you're just starting a new stroke. So look for these do's and don'ts when you're trying to figure out when is the best and worst time to lift your brush off the paper, okay? Now this might change a little bit depending on which letters you're working on, which letter combinations, but just try to always figure out a, a place where you can hide that spot where you lift it off. All right, so I'm gonna just write something right here and you guys can see how often I lift up my brush. All right, so I'm gonna just use a couple colors here so you can see exactly when I'm lifting the brush.
All right, so you can see exactly where I lifted off my brush pens off the paper, and I can see that I lifted it right there and I didn't mark that correctly. And of course, on the Y, I didn't lift it, but sometimes I do lift it like right there so that I can like have a different stroke like the letter G. So it depends what your letters look like, what your style is. You're always going to be a little bit different than other people, so don't always do exactly as other people are doing it or what other people are saying to do. So these are more like guidelines. They're not necessarily rules that are set in stone, so you can adjust these based on your needs and your style and how you want your letters to look, okay? All right, guys, that's it for today, and I'll see you next week with more lettering tips. Bye!